having our loops transformed into Rex files and playing back from a Dr. Octorex gives us control on several different levels. And this allows us to mangle and twist the loop into something new really easily and in ways that you probably wouldn't find possible if you were just working with the raw audio. There's nothing wrong with working with raw audio. Sometimes it's the perfect thing if you just want to drop a loop in, add some reverb, add a little delay, add some compression and treatment, and it just works in your mix, then perfect. But if you want to be a little bit more creative and create something a little bit more original and unique, then this is probably what you're looking for. So let's take a listen to what we've got so far, and I'll show you the first level of control that I'd say you have over working with plain audio. So as you can see, these MIDI segments are playing back each slice of the loop. If I flip back to the rack, uh, we can select select slice by MIDI and you can see them playing back here. And that is simply each MIDI segment triggering a different slice of audio. Now I'm going to concentrate on uh, these longer ones and we can maybe repeat them. And we can maybe swap some round as well. And we can change the resolution possibly and create some interesting trills, fills. So you can hear how we're altering the groove straight away and we're altering the pattern. And of course you can keep working on this and you can repeat uh, patterns. You can even name these slices if you like to make things a little easier. Now on top of that, and let's get back to where we were originally. I'm just gonna hit undo several times. That just gives you an idea of how you can alter the groove of a, of a, a Rex file. So the first thing I wanna show you is filtering. I'm gonna select slice by MIDI again so we can see which slice we're working with. and this filter will work on each slice. So I've got some filter envelope, it's just decay based. Sounds almost like an envelope follower. Also we can have a sync LFO, maybe working on the pan, bit of auto pan, and this will give us musical measures on the right here. Already that's sounding pretty cool. Now I like slice edit mode as well because this gives us loads of different options and as you can see the slices playing back, we can reverse different slices really easily. Really nice. You can also change the level, change the pan of each slice individually and even change the pitch of each slice individually. So you can hear the difference we can make with these easy edits, not only by moving the MIDI around and creating something really different from our loop, but also using the internal synthesis engine, uh, the internal modulation, and also this slice edit mode, which is incredibly useful because it gives you visual feedback, shows you which slice of the loop you're on, and gives you all these editing options uh, that you can control either using this simple touch screen or using these knobs down here as well. So a really great way of mangling your loops that you've created on the fly from a loop that you simply dragged into Reason. Next, we're gonna move away from loops. We're gonna enter a new chapter and we're gonna to start to look at mixing, rooting and grouping to make your drums overall sound a little better and a little tougher. 